au nom d'Henri et de moi-même, me fait plaisir de vous accueillir au repêchage amateur 2009 de la Ligue de hockey nationale. Merci. Bonsoir. Merci pour la bienvenue. Bonsoir. And welcome to the Bell Center for the 2009 National Hockey League Entry Draft. Welcome also to our fans watching on RDS and TSN in Canada and on Versus in the United States and at team viewing parties across North America. Welcome as well to those listening on NHL.com, XM204, Sirius 208, and on radio stations throughout North America. The great city of Montreal is the birthplace of the National Hockey League and home, and home to perhaps the most celebrated franchise in sports, Les Canadiens. No team has won more Stanley Cups than their 24. To commemorate the great history of this franchise, joining me as part of this draft celebration and the celebration of a hundred years of Canadian hockey are Henri Richard, 11 Stanley Cups, Yvonne Cornoyer, 10 Stanley Cups. Welcome, gentlemen, and thank you. Henri and Yvonne helped to lead a generation of greatness in Montreal. Tonight, as we welcome the next generation of outstanding athletes, I thank George Gillette, Pierre Boivin, Bob Gainey, and the Canadians organization for their hospitality and congratulate them for all that they have accomplished. Montreal was the home to the first NHL draft in 1963, and we are proud to return here in 2009. There is excitement and anticipation, so let's get started. The first selection in the 2009 National Hockey League entry draft belongs to the New York Islanders. This is the fourth time that the New York Islanders have had the first overall pick in the NHL draft. They're the first team that has selected first overall that many times. Last year, the Islanders made noise by trading down twice in the first round, finally selecting Josh Bailey. And of note, the Islanders will be busy tonight. They've got two first round picks, and then into the second round tomorrow, they've got three seconds. The Islanders picked five times in the top 56, but all eyes have been on this franchise since Garth Snow, the GM, and the Islanders won the lottery, and they have kept this secret under wraps, and now it's about to be revealed. They have not tried to trade the pick at all. It's not even really been a consideration right from the get-go. They've been making a selection, and here it is. And they're waiting on Long Island with bated breath. Les Islanders de New York voudraient remercier les gens de Montréal pour leur hospitalité ainsi, ainsi que l'organisation des Canadiens de Montréal pour cette superbe semaine. Pour faire l'annonce de la toute première sélection de ce repêchage amateur 2009, notre directeur général, M. Gart Snow. Bonjour. I'd like to thank uh, the city of Montreal for the hospitality on behalf of the New York Islanders. I'd also like to acknowledge 10,000 fans at Nassau Coliseum at our draft party. 
And with, and with the first overall pick, the New York Islanders select John Tavares. years at least since he was first identified as a potential first overall pick in the 09 draft. John Tavares born just days after the cutoff that would have allowed him to become a first rounder in 2008 but now Tavares is the answer to the Islander question. Way to go New York Islanders. Way to go Gar Snow. I punched you in the pants a million times when you didn't take Zach Parise. You finally made a great decision. This is great. Josh Bailey's going to be there. Kyle Oposo's there. John Tavares there. Now you're going to have offense. You can go into Philadelphia. You can go into Washington. You can go into Pittsburgh. This guy will be instant offense. Your leading scorer last year was Mark Streit, a defenseman. Your leading goal scorer was a player by the name of Kyle Oposo with 18. John Tavares had 58 Eight goals last year playing junior. This is an outstanding pick. They couldn't have made a mistake with any of the other two, but this is the right guy at the right time for a team that needs an identity. And not that it wouldn't mean more to the other players than it would John Tavares, but I think actually it means more to John Tavares after all that he's been through. You talked about a court. This player has been the most scouted player in the modern history of the NHL entry draft. Four full seasons of major junior hockey. He comes into the Ontario Hockey League as an exceptional player. Scores 45 Five goals as a 15-year-old. As a 16-year-old, scores 72 goals and eclipses Wayne Gretzky's record for a 16-year-old in the Ontario Hockey League. Comes in his third year, the year that people said he had a bad year, he had 118 points to lead the Ontario Hockey League in scoring. He won back-to-back -back World Junior Championship and was a clutch scorer. Not much more needs to be said. You get him on a plane tonight, you get him down to Long Island, you get him to start meeting the corporate people, he's the real deal, he's an outstanding player, he's a great finisher, he's instant offense, he's the whole thing. Way to go, Long Island. And of course, the negotiations continue on the island on the project that would hopefully see them get a new building and they're hoping to do what Pittsburgh and Philadelphia did which was build buildings around star players. Philadelphia did it with Eric Lindros and the Penguins have done it with Sidney Crosby. So John Tavares 58 goals in 56 games this season. He is the OHL's all-time leading goal scorer which is no mean feat considering some of the great players who have played in that league. And you know what now men the Islanders become a team you want to watch. There's they become Barb. a fun team. That's an emotional moment for his mom, Barb, his dad, Joe, his uncle, also named John Tavares, is one of Canada's most accomplished elite athletes. He's one of the best lacrosse players, box lacrosse players, who's ever played the game in Canada or worldwide, as well as field lacrosse, an outstanding athlete. You know, John Tavares was at his minor hockey coach's cottage a number of years back, James Naylor. He coached him and said, you know, at some point, son, you're going to have to make a choice between lacrosse and hockey. He says, well, you know what? My uncle made the family name in the sport of lacrosse, and John Tavares, this one, this one very accomplished lacrosse player, I want to make our family name in the game of hockey. And that's precisely what he's done over the last four years. Listen, there, you know, has there been some knocks on him? Yeah, when you're that around that long, Pierre, four years for the scouts to pick you apart. Is he a great skater? Uh, you know, he's not the most graceful guy in the world, but he's got a strong stride. He's maybe not that quick. He's more of a half-court player, Dane from the blue line in. All right, here he is with our James Duffy. All right, thank you with John Tavares and Islanders GM Garth Snow.